English Explorer Kids. This engaging dialogue will help you practice your English conversation skills while gaining valuable insights into personal growth. Let's dive in and learn how to become the best versions of ourselves by developing these different types of intelligence. Hey everyone, I thought it would be fun to talk about something important today. IQ, EQ, AQ, and SQ. Do you know what those are? I think I've heard of IQ. It has something to do with how smart you are, right? That's right. IQ stands for Intelligence Quotient. It measures how well you can solve problems and understand things like math, reading, and logic. So, if someone has a high IQ, they're really good at school. Exactly. But it's not the only important type of intelligence. EQ is just as important. Do you know what EQ stands for? No. What does it mean? EQ stands for Emotional Quotient. It's about understanding and managing your emotions, and also understanding how others feel. It's what helps you be a good friend, handle stress, and communicate well. Like when I get really mad during a game, and I have to calm myself down. Yes, that's a perfect example of using your EQ. Being able to recognize your feelings and control them is very important. And what about AQ and skew? I've never heard of those. AQ stands for Adversity Quotient. It's about how well you handle challenges and difficult situations. It helps you bounce back when things don't go your way. So, if I lose a game and don't give up, I'm using my AQ? AQ helps you stay strong and keep trying, even when things are tough. And what's SQ? SQ stands for Social Quotient. It's about how well you interact with others and work in groups. It helps you make friends, work as part of a team, and understand social rules. Like when we have to work together on a project at school. Yes, that's a great example. Being able to listen to others, share ideas, and cooperate is all part of having a good skew. So, IQ helps us be smart in school, EQ helps us understand feelings, AQ helps us face challenges, and SQ helps us get along with others? That's right, and they're all important in different ways. Let's think of some examples where we can use each one. For IQ, Think about when you solve a tricky math problem. You need to use your brain power to figure it out. For EQ, I guess it's like when my friend is sad and I try to cheer him up. Exactly. For AQ, imagine you didn't win a race at school. Instead of feeling down, you decide to practice more and try again. And for SQ, it's like when we play a game together and have to take turns and play fair.
perfect examples. By understanding and improving your IQ, EQ, AQ, and SQ, you can become a well-rounded person who is smart, kind, resilient, and good at working with others. And remember, these skills aren't just important for school. They'll help you in all areas of life, like making friends, solving problems, and even in future jobs. Wow! I didn't know there were so many different types of intelligence. There are, and each one is valuable. So, let's keep practicing all of them every day. I'll start by helping my friends when they need it and working on tough problems without giving up. And I'll try to be more understanding when others are feeling different emotions. That's the spirit. Let's work on becoming the best versions of ourselves by using our IQ, EQ, AQ, and SQ every day. We hope you enjoyed understanding IQ, EQ, AQ, and SQ English conversation practice on English Explorer Kids. Through this conversation, you've learned about the different types of intelligence and how they can be applied in your daily life. Practicing English can be fun and educational, especially when exploring topics that help you grow as a person. Keep talking, keep learning, and remember, developing your IQ, EQ, AQ, and SQ will help you become the best version of yourself. Until next time, happy learning! Don't forget to subscribe!